hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's tutorial will be on how to cut and sew this beautiful air bonnet guys if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so and click the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video These are the two fabric I will be using. This air bonnet is a reversible air bonnet. You can rock it in two way. I will put my fabric into two and I will fold it into four again. I'll fold it into two again, making four. I'll mark 13 inches from the apex of the fabric, 13 inches. So I'm marking 13 inches. I will mark the 13 inches round. I will show you after marking. After marking. The 30 inches round this is what we have i will cut it out i'll cut out the 30 inches now after cutting we have a big circle i'll fold it back and use this to cut the second fabric and this is the second fabric i'll cut it out now and show you i've cut out the both fabric and we have two big circle i will place the right side on each other and i will take it to my sewing machine and sew it round by half an inch you can do one quarter but for me, half an inch is good. I will sew it round. The, I will sew the half an inch round. And I will leave two inches opening. After sewing, this is what we have. and this is my two inches opening we are going to bring it out two inches i will use the opening to bring it out to the right side this is the wrong side so i want to bring it out now to the right side This is what I have. I will take it to my ironing table and iron it. So after ironing, this is what we have. And this is the two inches opening.
from the edge of the circle i will go in by 1.5 from the edge of the circle i will mark 1.5 inch around the circle i'm measuring 1.5 inch that's one and a half So I've marked the 1.5 inch round and I left the 2 inches also. The 2 inches we left earlier. This is the 2 inches for the opening. So I will take it to my sewing machine and sew it round. But because, because of this tutorial, I still have to mark another round circle. So I'm using half an inch of elastic for this tutorial. So from the 1.5 inch we marked earlier, I will go in again by 7.5 because we need ease when we are inserting the elastic. That's the reason we are using 7.5 instead of half inch of the elastic. I will mark the 7.5 inch round again. I've marked the 7.5 inch round the circle. So now I will sew it this 7.5 inch. I will sew it round without leaving any allow anything. I will sew it round. After sewing, this is what I have, and the first one I I left two inches for the passing of elastic. So I've I will cut twenty inches for the elastic, and this is my twenty inches. I've used my pin to secure the elastic, and I will insert it to the seven point five inch. Please take closer attention to this. I'm inserting the elastic to the 7.5 inch. And please hold the side of the elastic when you are doing this. I'm inserting the elastic. And this is the two sides of the elastic. I will use the pin to secure the two sides and adjust the elastic on the bonnet. At this point, if you think this your air bonnet is too loose, you can still cut out the elastic. But for me, I, I, I want the 20 inches and I will use half an inch to sew the elastic. So my elastic will be 19 instead of 20. After sewing, this is what I have. And this is our two inches opening. I will sew, I will take it to my sewing machine and sew it. And I will sew the 1.5 inch also. And this is what our hair bonnet is looking like. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.